so as usual, I wrote too much and got this done a few minutes before it was due. Um, <laughs> I've spent my entire adult life telling other people's stories because I thought it was important. But part of that was rooted in the idea that I didn't think I had a story worth telling. And that completely changed when I met you. Hi, baby. Hi. I haven't seen you all day, and it's been <laughs> a lot. Um, you calm me down a lot, and I have just been like tornado. Hurricane Camille, um, without you around. I love you. I love you so much. I'm so honored to stand up here today with Rob, my best friend of 10 years, and Camille, my sister from day one of the best choice Rob ever made. Camille is nurturing. Rob is protective. He's calm, steady, and grounded. She's fiery and passionate, a dreamer. Camille is always cold, and Rob emanates warmth, warmth like a space heater. Camille could easily cook her way to a Michelin star, and Rob cannot. <laughs> but he likes to eat. Rob told me once that there could be any number of people in the world who do the same things that Camille does, but none of it would add up to love. For me, it only works because it's her. With you, I feel a lightness I've never felt, and I feel whole for the first time in my life because I didn't know I'd been missing until you came around. When I'm with you, I've never felt more like me. You create this safe little bubble for me where I can just be me. I want every part of you. I want your obsession with pigs, which is now my obsession. I want to kiss you when you first come home after a long day. I want all of your hugs. I want the life that we've talked about building. Everything is centered on thinking about our future and the life ahead of us. It's about me finally feeling like I have a story to tell, our story, and I can't wait to start writing. Every choice that we have made to get to today, I would choose all over again. I promise to keep choosing you and let you know that you are my first choice. I love you and I will never stop. And for this moment, I'm going to be the reporter who doesn't ask questions. And we'll just be infinitely grateful that we found each other. Thank you for making me feel loved in a way that I couldn't conceive before we met. You have all my love. You deserve so much more. And I promise to spend the rest of my life trying to be worthy of yours. Now, by the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. From the moment that uh, Rob told us <laughs> that he met Camille, um, both my wife and I knew that she was the right person because like Camille mentioned in her vows, um, like she can always just be herself with Rob. We've never seen Rob in any kind of relationship where he can just be himself. And with Camille, he's always himself. Rob, when I heard about you, it was different and it's always been different with you. When I talked to Camille about you at the very beginning, I said, he's cute, he's fun, like, we like him, but it was more, and it's always been more. I'm just so happy that with how fiercely independent Camille is that she's able to find someone and how self-sacrificing she is. I have zero doubt that if I needed it, she would go to jail for me. <laughs> His generous heart, his steady demeanor, his sense of humor, 
I mentioned the part, you know, I didn't know how this kid was going to grow up, who was going to find. And then he met Camille. Your kind spirit and generous heart. Right away, felt it. And I could see how much you love Robbie, because you, you tried, she tried so hard with us. Uh, you heard about the Filipino cooking, but it's just the way she is. I know you both will be, will take care of each other and create beautiful memories. Now, really, no pressure, but on to the babies, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs>